a picture the other day and I really love it but there are some things that I think can be improved. For starters this sky is, is all blown out in white so we're going to try and get some information out of that. And the car was actually quite dirty on that day so what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean up the rims and make you know the, the grill a bit brighter. And I might do some special effects like you know make the background all black and white and stuff like that. So basically just dress this picture up and make it look like a studio picture. So first of all what I'm going to do is the sky. So what do I need to do? I'm going to adjust the levels. So I'm going to go up here and select my magnetic lasso and just it's a great tool. You know it's not perfect but it's still pretty good. Just select uh, the sky, so separate the sky from the building and the ground here. All the way around. Right, now we're going to go up to image, adjustments, and we're going to use our shadow highlights. And what we're going to do is I'm going to crank all the highlights down, but we're going to increase the shadows. Make that sky really dramatic, that's a lot better. Lots more information coming out of there. Next thing we're going to do so grab the magnifying glass here, just click and drag it so you're blocking this area here. Right, so here we have my car. Now we're going to get the uh, good old magnetic lasso and go around the edge of the car. There's a few tips you need to know about going around doing this. First of all, don't worry about it if it if it doesn't go in the right direction, you can fix that, fix that up later. The reason why I'm highlighting the car is I want to um, make the rest of the image black and white. Now I've gone over it with Magic Lasso, but you know there's a few bits and pieces that aren't quite right. So I'm going to just magnify where it's not right and select just the normal lasso. No special lasso. This is like hand drawer, and I'm just going to press the shift button, which has a little plus come up where you can add to the original selection. Right here, where it's gone over, I have to click the Alt button. Now that subtracts from the original selection. So just trace over that line to subtract. This is a really good thing to to use. And I'm going to keep going that until the whole thing's done. What we're going to do now is reverse the selection. You do that by right clicking inside the highlighted area and go up to select inverse. Now all the area on the outside of the car is going to be affected by manipulation and the car is going to stay as it is. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to make it black and white. Uh, on CS4 there's a black and white filter. Uh, on, on other ones, I don't know about CS3, but in CS2 you can just use your shadow, uh, your hue saturation. Okay, so that's just made it black and white. It's lovely, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to make an old time tint on it, which is here. That gives it kind of a sepia look. And if you're using CS2 or CS3, just use your hue saturation and make the hue 42 and the saturation 20% and that will give the same effect. So there you go, so we've got this old world look here. Okay, so I'm going to create a little bit more drama in the background here by increasing the brightness contrast. You really can't go overboard with, with black and white because it just it's too much, but there you go. That's good, it's made my car pop. But what I want to do now is I want to I want to make these rims a bit more shiny. So so what I'll do is I'll grab my magnifying glass and just magnify that, and then go up once again up to the magic lasso and let's just trace over the height over the wheel. So just trace around both your tyres like this and what we're going to do is we're going to go up to adjustments and I'm going to adjust it with curves this time. So if we get here and 
click just in the middle and drag that up. See how it brightens the wheels up? You can brighten them all the way up till they're like super blink, but I'm not going to do that. Now I'll deselect. There you go, I've got big bright wheels. I'm going to do the same with the grill now. So, back to my handy dandy zoom tool and zoom in. So it fills the screen. And once again, magnetic lasso, just run over there. Like so. Your adjustments, curves again. And we'll just do the same thing. Just brighten that grill up a bit. Okay, deselect. Let's, let's have a look at it the screen. And finally, I've just highlighted the parka light there and I'm going to do the same thing with the curves. Just brighten up that parka light a bit. There you go. Nice. Deselect. And there we have it. So there you go, a professional looking feature in under 15 minutes.